Hello everybody and welcome back to where I play XCOM 2 the video series and we're doing really well so what do I want I want all of these things I think uh, wait we have double the we get double the stuff does this mean we get Two adventure power? I don't think so. That would be great. No. If we can get enough adventure power over the course of the campaign, we might even be able to just ignore this. This thing is bugged out. Um, we might be able to not get a, a power upgrade at all. It would be good, but it's not really worth that much. Also, we have a lot of alien alloys, so I guess we will just be doing this Setting for now. For because the alien alloys Western are United meant for States. our upgrades, but we bought so many off the black market that we don't actually need them. And we will get psionics right the fuck now. I have made a Very good. Of interesting discoveries, Commander. Uh, this allows us to make magicians or something like that um, I will do so as soon as I have my power thing shielded we can instantly autopsy although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling um, of both human and viper and genetic I'm actually a giant idiot I said oh it constricts so it can't be uh, such distinctive human features well, no I was right unsettled. I always confuse pythons and vipers pythons are the choky ones and vipers are the long fanged cool ones that don't poop at all they poop like every three weeks I find it there's to say the crazy least. people like the, the viper keeper so on youtube that actually keep the these things the fin man has now been revealed to actually code name strangle of this holy reptilian creature Oh, this is really good. Uh, we also need to do... We, we haven't actually built a proving grounds, which is kind of important. But... Um, da -da -da, I, do I need intel? I do need intel, so I will do this because it's also only takes one day. Which is fine for us. Mmm, as as coffee. I love coffee. Okay, so we got that hook up right here. New regional contacts located. Yes, yes. The local fine. resistance we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the chosen operating in this region. Oh, that's the sniper chosen. He's the least annoying, actually. I like that guy. Well, he's annoying because he talks. He's even dumber than the other ones when he talks. But he does. He's quite less annoying in combat because he's an idiot. Uh, I d let's look at how our soldiers are doing because if we have enough we might just want to take out the black side uh, tired uh, tired um, but everybody else is fine I kind of do want my reaper though because the black sides are really long wait do I have I don't have Captain yet? Do I? I probably uh, probably really far off a captain at this point. Let's see, lieutenant. Uh, what the hell? Um, soldier abilities. Now we're one off a captain. If we get a captain, we can get the second squad size upgrade. Aside from us getting this ship up and running, Distra distraction means if we get a kill with a claymore, we are put back into shadow, which is great. I still wish she wasn't that stupid, but there's nothing we can do about it. Some people are just born um, I will wait for her to uh, recover. I think and I will do this by yeah so we really need to work on our avatar progress because we are a little bit little bit far in that respect did I as of right now we don't have enough Intel to get a solid no, bearing I can't on do that anyways in that so area. I will 
go for Avenger Power Avenger because it's a permanent upgrade. Might be a waste of time. In fact, it's very likely. Oh, God damn it! I just wanted, didn't want to do that. It's very likely a waste of time. So I will go for the battleship then. Avenger plotting new course. Because uh, having a second, second power facility isn't really that much of a problem. We completed our research in remarkable time. Commander. 35 intel, that's not that much. Okay, we are going for the muton autopsy in order to get better, um, in order to get better, quit interrupting me, Tygen, in order to get better grenades because those are really important. She's moving up real fast, I don't like that. Okay, so we are ambushed. Okay, this means we are gonna have to do a mission, but I actually gave them really good gear, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. I accidentally gave them my best sniper, which I regret for uh, have regretted for the last two missions, but now it should come in handy. And I think the rest are pretty good as well. We still have the old timey uh, healing on our specialist, but the rest should be fine. So up until the last uh, campaign I did, which was on the higher difficulty, I have never, I had never seen. Uh, this type of mission before because the, my first commander playthrough and my first veteran playthrough I saw nothing uh, of this type. I never got ambushed at all But I like these missions. I really do But they tend to be kind of easy I always take my time with these missions because if you don't then you will get injured You've got no time to waste. But we are and move to the We are very the well equipped at this point Okay, so what's gonna happen on this mission is that we are going to There's probably nothing here. I would expect wait. Is there, is there a building right there? No, there isn't um, There's nothing here, but we are probably gonna get uh, reinforced upon in the next turn so there is a fucking building right there I hate buildings dude they're so dumb oh you have the wrong gun too Double time. okay so we have a ranger with a regular gun which is dumb because they do less damage but it's not the end of the world We'll just go here and we will be very surprised when they call in a reinforcement beacon. We will move towards this reinforcement beacon so we can actually could have just saved on that round. We're picking up advent response forces in the Oh yes, I'm very surprised. Oh no. Um I don't know if I need to move my sniper at all. Well I do because you can't see anything from there. Which is sad, so I will just Order's put her here, put her on pistol overwatch. And the other two I will put behind. One will be here. She's gonna be put on to overwatch. overwatch. And he's also gonna be put here, here and put on overwatch. And we should be able to take these dudes out Jerry. in the next round. If all you you can you can improve the the hit while wow, there are only two. Uh, you might even be able to kill them in Overwatch. Well, no, our our sniper does no damage at all. Because even the upgraded pistols are complete and utter bullshit. We actually missed you, dumbass. Okay, so we have already killed the officer, who is the biggest pain in the ass. And we are probably just... Are we actually flank? No, we aren't flanking, but... Okay, we're gonna shoot at him. Can't move anyways. And that's the 
biggest pot will face on this mission probably so i'll just keep moving up where do we need to go right here wow that's far okay um so i'll just move up Whatever but not too say. far because we need to wait for our sniper they Just are lost cover. on this mission there Turn always is around. and lost missions are always really easy Don't so i'll just some. wait for a round there's probably single uh there's probably single uh advent people but they shouldn't be much of a problem since we're so well equipped and Still kind of sad I don't have a shotgun on my on my ranger because that would make everything much easier. Um, or not easier, it's just, I guess I'm just a baby. I can put, that. Let's put her here and see if we can see someone. We can't. So I will put him here. He can see much more than she can so we are likely to find a pod part being one person on these types of missions so actually it's not really that bad uh, in order to see that I will Get put my sniper done. here because I can't react with her anyways and we actually did not see a pot which is good as well I would expect there to be a, a pot here so well, whatever. I will put him Got here it, and then we'll just wait for our lost spawn. Could move her up a little more, but I... Well, I'll move her up tiny bit, a no tiny problem, bit more. Boss. But that won't do anything. I'll just wait for the lost spawn, because they'll spawn on the turn. Like so. And the, the lost swarms in this type of mission are also really small. So these missions are usually very easy if you just take your time. Of course there can be exceptions to that rule, but you just have to take it really slow and if, especially if you have two people and one of them is a, a rookie, all you need to do is really just move, take your blue move, go into overwatch, take your blue move, go into overwatch and it's... I, I've never had a problem oh, yeah. with any of these missions, and they're always kind of fun, I think, or I feel like, at least to me. Also, if we had lost that had uh, lower, no longer a threat. Um, lower health, we could just take him out with the pistol. But I don't think the pistol, the pistol has 4 to 5 damage. So we'll just uh, use our sniper. And yeah, so our, this is also the, the reason why snipers are so good on these missions is that they, they're very accurate of course and you can just take out an entire pod with them. I will put my, as soon as I get a good autoloader, I will also put it on my snipers because of that, not because of these uh, missions, but because they make the snipers much more effective. If you have your superior auto loader on your sniper, you're just. It's just better. Um, Heading there now. In the last playthrough, I didn't get a single superior repeater. So, I was expecting this to happen, and we kind of need to kill him now. Um, but he's not really that much of a problem. He is in half cover, which is kind of dumb. Uh, well, we we need to kill him because our sniper is flanked right now, which is dumb on my part. But I just wanted to move her up as far as I can. So if he hits the shot, all my everything is good, and it is. And he and we have our first captain which is fantastic I like that a lot so we can actually buy our squad size upgrade before we go on the next mission I will I do not expect us to find another pod when we move Good here if we do we'll deal with it or we can't deal with it at all because we 
didn't have any actions left, but it wouldn't have been that bad because the pods consist of a single enemy in these types of missions. So I'll just move her up. Might find a pod. Didn't. So I will now move up my sniper. Again, I think we have good vision here. We might find an advent pod, but I don't think so. They're really spread out on these missions. Okay, so this is fine. I don't really want to move any further than this. <clears throat> I wish he had some cover, but it's fine that I just put him here. And I will put her on overwatch just in case somebody wanders in our, into our field of view, which they did, which is great. So that's just the perfect outcome pretty much. Is he dead already? Yeah, I am kind of impressed. Good job. Okay. So I will, so I really don't expect us to find another pod that. on this turn because as I said before they are really spread out. We still have quite a way to go and I would expect there to be one more advent pod and us to get another last spawn before we can extract but that's all, all good. It's all good man. I want to put my sniper here because she has a better field of view because you can see these two panels right here that will block her field of view. And she also doesn't get ahead of our specialist. This means I don't expect her to find a no new pod. Same with her. So usually I would just do blue moves but in this case we are pretty much running through this mission so no problem at all don't move your sniper you dumbass um okay so we need to get up all the way i will go the lower route first because i do Seems expect doable. there to be one more pot i don't know if we'll see him on this turn doesn't look like it so let's just let's kill the already. advent pot I wasn't really looking if there was still an alien turn. I think there is though. I think it's pretty certain. Okay, if I move here, I'm pretty sure I'll find the pod. So I won't do that. Even though it kind of means... I'll put her here. Copy that. And I'll Get wait with the one. other two. On the move. Yeah, so this is our final pod. He might wander into our field of view. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. Yeah, so this is fine. I will actually happily take the next last spawn. Okay, so I want to trigger the pod. I say pod, it's probably just a single soldier a single trooper on this turn so I will put myself in a bad position because I want to make sure I find him I didn't find him which is dumb um, yeah so basically we, oh we did okay that's good at least I'm going to full cover he did um, if I throw a grenade at him, it'll trigger the loss, so I'll, I'm just hoping for this shot to hit. It didn't, but it destroys his cover, which is pretty much... it didn't destroy his cover. Okay, so I will throw a grenade at him, because we are in a really bad position. Which means we are gonna have lost that spawn this turn. Which isn't really that bad. Take this. Uh, but the ranger is gonna have to hit her shot. The lost aren't gonna reach. And the ranger can't hit. Well, I really hope. Oh no, I did. That was dumb. 
I don't think the trooper can one shot us anyways, but I hope he'll aggro the lost and you know not that was good. Burning through ammo fast. and not our people. Um I'll put her on overwatch just in case she can kill the trooper. But she can't. Because the trooper's gonna flank and possibly crit us, which is not Oh he just went to Overwatch, which is fine. Because his Overwatch is probably gonna get triggered by the Lost. So this was actually I didn't get punished even though I did I had a very terrible turn. I really mismanaged that. So I would have um, I would have expected our people to get injured because I'm dumb and I just was rushing a little bit okay so with her we have one free last kill and then we should start attacking the trooper I think we Again, we didn't. We don't deserve not getting punished, but we didn't get punished. And we got some loot, which is always good. I like loot. Ready to engage. Yeah, so we should all be fine. And I think that lost is actually the last unit. So I don't think there's any more units on this mission and we aren't gonna be here long enough uh, just a standard scope well, it's better than nothing I guess um, in fact I'm so sure that there's no nobody else on this mission I'll just move them up and I think that's about it. We are gonna have Whatever to wait two turns to extract our sniper. So here you can see there's nothing else. Nobody's taking a turn, not no aliens turn and no lost turn. So Good to go. by this you can see that there's no other units on this map at this point. And this should be, this is going to be an easy extraction even though I did put him into a really bad position so on these missions just take it slow and you'll be fine also make sure you equip your people because if you don't then you do get punished for it sometimes I'm going. or at least it's a bigger pain in the ass to do Packing it in. And I'm really excited to have my first captain. Because the squad size upgrade too makes the game much easier. So this actually the loading screen here is the most annoying of the chosen, especially in the late game. He can be Quite a pain in the dick. So he's the one I actually... Well, as soon as you have a um, uh, Magi, he doesn't do anything at all anymore. Because his thing is he can just start mind controlling your... Uh, he can pretty much mind control and knock out your entire squad in a single turn which is quite annoying. So he can knock out four people on a single turn if everything goes terribly and it gets working out just fine. Iron Man that sometimes happens. And then you're fucked. That I good you are going to get threat assessment because this allows us to this, this makes uh, aid protocol much more useful because people are gonna sh be put on an, a better form of overwatch 
which is great. Okay. So this is really good. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Commander, you'll be happy to hear our most recent covert action yielded some new intel on the Chosen. Keep this up, Commander, and we might just make you an honorary Reaper. If you've got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional that orders. Good, I like experimental. And we are going to immediately recruit a Reaper. On the Chosen. Because I love my Reapers. And we need as many of them as we can get and we are not gonna get these missions very often uh yes that's fine no risks eight days very good we'll get the, In job covert done. Action. Don't worry, the next covert action is gonna be the final covert action with the chosen so we can kill the chosen and get our chosen weapons and stop being Rest on missions and then we can just take on the next chosen pretty much because we did this so early we will have done it so early we are pretty much just gonna run through them his his weapon is the best in the entire game I believe okay so I hope you enjoyed um, Please give me a like and I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye.